Hey guys, Dan here with Dan Reviews It, and uh, we have special guest Melissa over the Zoom. Hello, Melissa. Hi, Dan. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Um, quarantine again, but that's all right. <laughs> You're I've right. Plenty of time to watch shows and uh, think about them and talk to yeah. you. Yeah. And so uh, we were originally going to do a, a Dead to Me season two review, which we are going to do uh, as well. But uh, in a separate separate thing here, you texted me about an hour ago and said, Fred Willard has passed away. So I thought we should do a, a nice video tribute to Fred Willard and Jerry Stiller, who also passed this week, two of our favorite uh, sitcom everymen. Absolutely. Just staples. I mean, Jerry Stiller what, you know, definitely had more of a recurring role on all the shows he did. But, I mean, if you go back through the years, starting, you know, late 60s into the 70s, Fred Willard's making appearances on just, you know, all of these big main shows. Um, yeah, Back to the Love Boat. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, Get Smart, he was in an episode of. And, um, Mama's was, Family, I know that's... Mama, yes, Mama's <laughs> Family. He was on the Laverne and Shirley once. Um, Golden Girls. Yep, Golden Girls, Bob Newhart. Um, he had Very that, uh, you know, we love, you know, both of us love Roseanne. He had that eight car eight episode arc playing um, Martin Mull's husband. Yes, good old Scott. Yeah. Um, that was the first time I really saw him in a, yeah, in like a semi-regular role. I sort of knew who he was from some of the other shows. Um, but that was the one where I was like, okay, now I know who this person is. Because Martin Mull, too, was sort of the same for me. Like, I had sort of seen him peripherally in things. Um, and then when they were together on Roseanne, then I was like, okay, I like both of these people a lot. Oh, yeah. They, he, he really uh, humanized the Martin Mull character. Um, and I, I, he, he's just so funny. Um, and so adorable. I just love him. We, um, I, I'm actually, I've been a big fan of his since he, the Christopher Guest movies. It's so funny. There was, a, it's such a coincidence, actually. I was just, um, a friend of mine was watching um, A Mighty Wind, which is one of my favorite Christopher Guest movies. And his character, um, Mike uh, LaFontaine, is, is so hysterical. <laughs> all his little bits. I walk around saying, what happened all the <laughs> time? We were talking about this for like three days. We've been texting back and forth. We've been calling each other. What happened? All of the different things. Um, I watched a whole bunch of clips. About um, uh, movies. It was, so when this happened, I was just shocked. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? We've just been like Fred Willard centric for three days. And um, yeah, I was, I, was, I was very upset. Nice. And then modern family. Yeah, I, I was going to say, right, the, the two more recent uh, frequent appearances were Everybody Loves Raymond. He played um, Robert's father-in-law, along with uh, Georgia Engel. Uh, and then in Modern Family, he was um, Ty Burrell's father. Um, and the two of them actually – too. Yeah, great. Yeah, so great. Um, and the two of them worked together on a one-season show – with Patricia Heaton and Kelsey Grammer about, I don't know, 15 oh, years ago, maybe now. I remember I was going to watch that because I was a big Kelsey Grammer fan, and then I ended up not, I think, because it ended up being the one season. Um, yeah, I, back to you, it's called. An Everybody Loves Raymond fan, but he was always so funny um, in that um, as well. I, I mean, he, he's just so funny, and he does great voice work. Um, I was looking up some of it. I mean, he's yeah. Wally. He, he's done a whole lot of voice work as well. Um, and he was, and um, what was it? He's also, is he, was, oh, there was another movie, was Anchorman we were talking about. Yep, Anchorman. Um, I mean, he did, he did The Simpsons, of course, everyone has. Um, what's it, interesting is he's going to be do you know he's going to be in the new space force show on netflix i did not know that so so I him it, steve, that yeah that's coming out i think in like two weeks steve carell's the the head of that but he is a recurring role on that show as well so that'll be sort of the last thing that we see him in well i'll be looking forward to that um definitely 
Uh, if you want to circle back around, you know, Jerry Stiller was a big loss as well. We haven't seen quite as much of him lately, being that he was in his 90s. Yeah, uh, Fred was, I think, what, 83? 86. 86, yeah, and Jerry was 92. So the last really big thing he did, I guess, was King of Queens. Um, I think that was his biggest recurring um, that we'd seen recently. And again, that's not one of my favorite shows, but uh, as the show goes, he's one of my favorite parts of the show. Um, yeah. Well, and did you know that he basically, after Seinfeld had wrapped, he said he was he was just going to be done, retired, maybe do a couple of cameos in, in his son Ben's movies. But uh, Kevin James basically called him and was like, look, I don't want to do the show without you. Please consider coming on. And so he's like, OK, you know, I'll do it a little bit. And he ended up being a recurring role on all, what was it, nine or ten seasons of King of Queens. I, yeah, I, I did. I was not aware of that, and I'm so glad that he did because the again, it's not one of my favorite shows. I, it's one of those I like all the people, but then you put it together, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, it might, <laughs> it might be my whole Kevin James can only play one role sort of thing. Yes. Um, yes. But um, you know, he he was. He, both of these guys are just really made for the parts that they end up with. They, they get cast so well and they have such uh, a good timing and just an eye for the, the, the way the comedy needs to fall. I just, um, it, it's hard to lose people that are sort of legends and that you're used to seeing because, you know, who, who are the, who are, who are the up and comers for that kind of, you know, Role. I mean, some of the people who we've seen be really funny, who are sort of the next generation, are doing more things like like directing and producing. I haven't seen a lot of the people who were in those real funny roles do a lot of acting lately. And I feel like the like the real big comedies don't, ex especially um, t uh, movie wise, we're not seeing those big blockbuster comedies like we used to ten years ago. Do you feel the same? Yes, I do. Comedy, comedy movies, and I've I've talked about this with uh, Joe on on our other show. Yeah, comedy movies are are sort of very the successful ones are few and far between, uh, and the ones that are real funny are few and far between. Christopher Guest ha had a knack, and I guess still does, of finding those sort of um, you know diamond in the rough actors. I mean, Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy obviously came from the world of SCTV. But, you know, people like Michael McKeon from Laverne and Shirley, who knew he had such amazing range. Um, and then, yeah, you know, Michael, uh, or Fred Willard, rather, to, to get him in Spinal Tap and Mighty Wind and all these great movies where he can just be himself and be so funny on the fly. Oh, my gosh. And, and announcing and best in show. And he just is <laughs> yes. so inappropriate all the time. And I don't want to laugh because it's so inappropriate, but you have to laugh because it's so ridiculous. I was, I, yeah. I mean, my poor husband, I was watching on my phone, like, without headphones at, like, midnight, <laughs> looking at all these clips, like, shaking the bed laughing. And what are you doing? Go to bed. <laughs> I it's so he was dead at this point. I mean, he wasn't at the back. Actually, this was, I think, Wednesday night. But Other apparently, they actually, he, I didn't realize this because um, he was uncredited and it was so short. But um, apparently, the two of them, Fred Willard and Jerry Stiller, were both in Anchorman. Um, he was Man in Bar. It just says Man in Bar. So, I mean, I don't know if it was interesting. Anything yeah. I too big or memorable. There was a lot of other things going on there are so many cameos in that movie yeah it's hard to hard well to and that's so many of them uncredited so i mean it's right anything. right but uh but yeah so i i just wanted to um you know before we did our other video kind of talk a little bit about fred willard and jerry stiller because look roseanne and seinfeld are two very very beloved shows to us absolutely um, and these these were two you know very fun parts of those shows so uh, all right, so so that's that. That we'll uh, we'll have uh, our dead to me video here coming up. Um, but yes, thank you for for joining us for this little tribute, Melissa. And we'll see you again very soon for uh, Dead to Me season two. Absolutely. Have a good one. Take care.